If you are a business owner or an entrepreneur who wants to launch their own fitness app, then you have come to the right video. In this video, we will show you how a user can easily navigate our fitness app to connect with personal trainers, follow customized workout plans, and track their progress directly from the app. Join us as we explore a more detailed step-by-step -step working of our fitness app. Our fitness app is designed to make your fitness journey seamless and personalized. Whether you are looking to build strength, lose weight, or maintain a healthy lifestyle, our app offers a range of features to help you achieve your goals. Let's begin by exploring how a first-time user can register and get started with the app. The first-time user starts by pressing sign up entering their email and password to begin registration. They'll then enter their name, select their gender, age group, current weight and height. Next, they'll choose their fitness level and set a main goal like losing weight or building muscle. After selecting their workout days and confirming details, they'll see a profile successfully created message. Now with this done, we will now log in an existing user to the app. After successfully logging into the app, we come to the home page of the user's account. The user here is John. On the home page, we can see some stats like steps, calories, and minutes. This is followed by the current month's calendar, showing today's date. Friday, August 23rd. Next, we have the timer and workout sections. Below that are some app-promoted body challenges. Finally, there's the latest activity section with goals created by John. When we click on the workout section, it takes us to the next screen, where we see that John has already created one workout routine for himself. Additionally, there are some body challenges pre-approved by the app based on John's profile, which is set at the beginner level. From here, we will create a new workout for John by clicking on the Create Workout button. Next, we are taken to the Workout Builder screen, where our user, John, can create another workout routine. We also see some app recommendations related to setting goals and safety. We will click on Create section. This takes us to the Workout section screen. Here, we first give a name to this section, which will be Leg Complex, and then click on the Add Exercise button. We are then taken to the Select Exercise screen, where John can choose different types of exercises to add to his workout routine. By clicking on the Filter button, John can narrow down his options from workout place, equipment, and body part. After setting the filters, he returns to the Exercise screen and selects the exercises he wants to do in this case, box jumps and squats. Finally, he presses Add to include these exercises in his routine. We are now taken back to the workout section where we see that box jumps and squats have been added, with a default 1-minute rest option in between. If the user doesn't want to include rest, they can remove it. The number of exercise rounds can also be adjusted using the rounds button, which is set to 1 by default. Our user John decides to increase the rounds to 4 and then presses the Create section button. This takes us back to the Workout Builder screen, where the workout name leg complex is updated, along with an initial warm-up segment consisting of four rounds of the two exercises. The user can then press the Save button. After this, we need to press the Create Workout button to add the workout to the workout days in the calendar, which is where we are taken next. On the Schedule screen, the dates for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are highlighted in white. If the user, John, wants to update his new workout routine for Fridays, he needs to select all the dates that fall on a Friday. The selected dates will change to green. After this, he just needs to press the Update Schedule button. Once the update is successful, the app will confirm with the message, Schedule updated successfully. John can then press the OK button to return to the Schedule screen. To check the schedule for a specific day, just click on that date. For example, let's check the workout routine for September 2nd by clicking on that date. This will take us to the library, which includes the workout routine exercise and plan sections. By default, the workout tab is open. It includes a list of workout routines that John has added to all his Mondays for the month of September. The next tab is exercises which contains various exercises that John can perform if he wishes. Let's click on one of these exercises, let's choose deadlift. This opens a new screen titled Deadlift. On this screen, there is a video tutorial demonstrating how to properly perform a deadlift. Just below the video, you will find details about the equipment needed. After that, there are written instructions on how to perform a deadlift. John can either read the instructions to perform the deadlift on his own or watch the video tutorial, just as we are doing right now. After the video ends, the app prompts a survey, asking John about his experience, with several options for feedback. 
In this case, we will select Amazing and press the Continue button, which is followed by a confirmation message from the app. Next, we will press the Community option in the bottom navigation menu, which takes us to the Community screen. By default, the Feed tab is open. Here, you can see posts shared by other app users. When we click on a post, it opens on a different screen. On this screen, you have the option to like the image by pressing the thumbs up button. We can also write a comment on the post. If we want to view a user's profile in the community section, just click on their name. For example, we will click on Jennifer Miller which opens Jennifer's profile on the app. Her profile has sections for feed stats goals and competitions. We can follow her directly on the app, and from the messages option, you can also send her a message. To go back, we will click the back button. In the community there is also a chat tab, where you can see all the chats our user John has had with other users on the app. The next tab is leaders which shows the top users of the app those who have earned the most points from completing workout routines. The last tab is coaches where you'll find a list of coaches and articles under the personal advice and tips section. Let's click on a coach's image, like Guy Hawkins which opens up Guy's coaching profile on the app. His profile has sections for feed tips programs and prizes. Next, we will press the profile option in the bottom navigation menu, which takes us to John's profile section. This section is basically the settings where John can access his profile on the app and view his personal details which includes various options. Let's click on personal details to check John's information. This screen shows John's profile picture and his personal details. With this, we come to the end of our fitness app's base model. Now that you understand how our fitness app works, are you ready to bring your unique fitness app idea to life? Using our base model, you can create specialized apps like a personal training app, a nutrition and meal planning app or a yoga and meditation platform or any other fitness app of your choice. Connect with us at Codebrew Labs. With over 5,000 satisfied clients worldwide, we are experts in custom software and app development. Our team of highly skilled developers and designers leverages cutting-edge technologies and advanced AI to create customized, user-friendly apps tailored to your business needs. Contact us by clicking on the link given in the description. Fill up the form with your name, your email address, your contact number and a few details about your project, along with the date and time slot when you will be able to attend a call. Click Submit which will take you to the next screen where you can select your project budget and your industry, after doing that click Submit. And now your query is registered with us. This way, you can easily schedule a free consultation and a personalized demo session with us at a time that suits you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.